Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. I'm um, coming to you this morning with a bit of a network issue. Um, I actually started yesterday, so I'm going to kind of walk you through the steps that uh, I went through to troubleshoot this issue we, we are still having. Um, and I know the reason. It just hasn't been fixed yet. So yesterday I came in and... Uh, my phone automatically, this phone that you're actually, that I'm filming this on, automatically connects to our employee wireless, which um, connected, but it was telling me no internet. What? I mean, no internet. So I jumped on good old Intermapper here. I'm gonna kind of hold you a ways away from it because I don't want you to see numbers or anything like that, but you'll see right there, there's an orange switch should be green and then right there you'll see a little red X you probably barely see it that's okay trust me it's there the red X that means that that interface is down what the heck and then also this chart there's a little thin blue trace at the top here the bottom which you can't see should be a red trace and it should be just as squiggly as that blue trace it's not I said, okay, that interface is down. Why? So I logged into the switch. It said, show interface gig state. It says, admin status up. And what's the other one? Admin and... I don't remember. There's two states, up or down. And the reason, it, it'll show you the reason it's down anyway. Either it's a, a link flap or SLPP or just down. So it was up, down anyway. The interface was up, down. Huh, I better go investigate. So I went in here, right over here. See it, see it? No, you don't see it yet. Take you in the noisy room here. Into the data center we go, behind the glass windows. So bring you here to our, uh, basically our WAN rack. So this mess here, uh, this is where our Comcast circuit is. Yeah, yeah it's a, our ISP for this particular circuit is, is Comcast. We got two different ISPs. Our normal uh, internet is working fine. This was a secondary one we added. I'll explain why in a minute here. But anyway, this is the router for it down here. And this is the interface for it right here. So I looked at that and I said, okay, it's on this switch. I've got it labeled, I followed it back to the switch. And sure enough, the link light was down. I thought, well, maybe it's my fiber. So I unplugged the fiber, plugged it back in, nothing. Unplugged it down there, plugged it back in, nothing. Took it off and cleaned it, nothing. Well, heck, what could it be? So, uh, went back to my desk, which I will do right now. There, one last look at the rack for everybody that likes network porn. There you go. Ooh, ah, look at all the wires. Look, every one of those wires in myself. All right, back to the uh, quieter room over here. And HVAC porn, there you go. There air handlers for this room. All right, let's get out of here. Where it's nice and quiet. So I came back and I thought, well, heck, let me check uh, with the ISP and see what's going on there. So I called the ISP back. All right, let me get this set up. There we go. I have to hold the phone up the whole time. So I called the ISP back and uh, or I didn't call them back, I called them initially. And it was on hold, on hold, on hold, on hold. Meanwhile, CIO walks in. I said, oh, our, uh, we call it uh, RAD VPN. I'll explain why we call it RAD VPN in a minute. I said, hey, the uh, RAD VPN internet circuit is down. He goes, oh yeah, yeah, I know. You know, well, tell me, 
what more do you know? He goes, yeah, I, was, I guess it went down yesterday sometime. I said, yeah, that's, that's what the logs show. And he said, well, we didn't pay our bill. Oh. And then a big smile started creeping over my face. I said, you didn't pay the bill. You didn't pay the bill? <laughs> you just made my day. And he did. He made my day. I was worried. And what the heck are we going to do to fix this? No, they, they didn't pay their bill for like three months. Oopsie. Oversight. We just forgot. You have to pay for stuff. Um, now there's other, there's more complicated political reasons. I'm, I'm not going to go into that. That's that's not my thing. Okay, so why do we have this extra internet circuit anyway? And what what the heck does RAD VPN mean anyway? So this circuit was added because we have a group of remote radiologists that connect via a remote VPN software, Global Protect. And um, they connect over our internet circuit and they open up our, our, it's called PAX, they open up our PAX system where they can look at x-rays and dictate notes and that sort of thing and re read the x-rays and, and do radi radiologist things. Um, and they kept saying, well, it's really slow. It's really slow, slow loading these studies and doing the dictation and all that. It's, it's just slow. We, this is unacceptable. We can't for years and then I we'd check on things everything's just fine and then they'd go for months without complaining and then they would just complain every day sound familiar so so finally the new boss AC gets here and enter the new cycle of complaining they hadn't been complaining for months they started complaining again so AC says well we're gonna we're gonna fix this so he ordered this this new circuit it's like a how fast is this thing? Uh, I don't remember. Is it a gig? It's either 500 meg or a gig. I can't remember, but it's 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 dedicated to them. It's the only thing on that internet circuit, Rad VPN. And uh, so we got that up and running, and um, you know, then they started using that, and then they were pleased. And then we went over to a new PAC system, and we have a dedicated site-to-site -site VPN back to their headquarters. Uh, so don't, we don't even use this for them now. <laughs> After all that fuss, we uh, um, we keep it as a backup. So if the VPN ever goes down, they can still use uh, Global Protect to connect. Um, so since this is just sitting there idling, we've got this huge pipe that's just idling, doing nothing. I, I thought, well, why don't we use it for something? Let's put um, let's put guest wireless on there. So we ha we have a, a, a free open Wi-Fi here for for hotel hotel hospital guests and visitors. Uh, I call them guests. They're, they're patients, but they call them guests here um, for patients and their visitors to uh, get on the internet. You know check email, watch movies, whatever. And then we thought, well, let's expand that out since we don't want employee phones like this one to be on our internal network. Let's put them on the guest network. So I just gave them basically another um, SSID that drops them into the same guest VLAN. Um, so it's, it's a non-routable uh, IP subnet. Um, can't go anywhere. All it can do is go to the firewall and out to the internet. That's the only place it can go. Um, so we put the employees on that. And then my boss, the big boss, not, not my supervisor, his boss, the CEO, CIO, the one that told me about this circuit, the reason the circuit was down in the first place. He says, well, well let's use this for something else too. Uh, um, can we put, so that we started this new service uh, that we're offering, to our patients and visitors. It's called a Swank. What a name, Swank. And it's basically, it's a, like a streaming movie channel that uh, we pay for and they get to watch, uh, you know, near, near late release movies um, for free, basically. It streams, streams a bunch of movies. There's like 
20 or 30 movies that they can stream and watch and it kind of cycles different every month and they're um they're airline approved so good morning. good morning so they can watch those and uh everything's good well what we uh sorry let's move over here for a minute so i don't disturb anybody That's the guy. That's him. So I don't want to hear him to hear me talking about them not paying their bills. <laughs> He's a nice guy. He, he really is. But uh, I don't want to. I don't want to subject him to this. I'm sorry. It's a beautiful sunrise. See, hitting the trees. Ah, beautiful California. Um. So we not only use this for the remote radiologists, which we also use it for guest wireless. For employee wireless and for this swank movie streaming and we didn't really want the red remote radiologists to know that but you know because they think it's just for them but we can't have a circuit just sitting there doing nothing just for them so because we're paying for this circuit we pay them um so since we're paying for the circuit we're going to use it for what we want to so that being said so that's that's the impact that circuit is down so there is no guest wireless right now there is no employee wireless there is no streaming movie so we're waiting for all that it should be rectified either today or tomorrow um, the checks went out either last night or this morning um, so that should all be taken care of so that's just something else to think of you know when is a network problem not a network problem well yes it's a network problem root cause not a network problem we didn't pay the bill all right guys that's all i got this week if you like what you saw click the subscribe button click the notification bell give me a thumbs up thumbs down and uh as always uh get any prayer requests or any comments leave them below um feel free to laugh at me make fun of me i don't care it's uh it's all in fun anyway all right, guys, we'll see you next week. God bless.